Ready? Sweet. Hi, Lewis Ludlam here. I'm gonna give you guys a unique look of what we've been up to this follow week. Run the VT. Hi, Lewis Ludlam here. Um, start of follow week, Tuesday, 8.30. Um, cab's about to pick us up. Um, bags, all packed, ready to go. Essentials and calendar, cat boo calendar. There it is, England versus France. Not long now, looking forward to it. Good morning, Primo. Good morning, brother. So O2 inside line. Hello, how are we? I'm very good. How are you feeling about follow week, mate? I'm excited, buzzing, ready to go. Just say hello to O2 inside line. Let's go, O2. <laughs> Anyone else want to go in the front? Just want to say hello to O2 inside line. Hello, O2 inside line. You looking forward to follow week, mate? Are you just filming it yourself? Yeah. That's been crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was going to film the journey. However, we all fell asleep literally about 20 seconds we've been being in the car. But I do have some footage of us arriving in Brighton, which is probably the next best thing. Hi, we're back. We're back. Hello, right. So first things first, we arrived in Brighton. We have to eat. The food's fantastic here. We had to get it down us straight away. Big week ahead. Had to get it in us. We are in beautiful Brighton. Um, took about three hours. The journey was really good. Um, all four of us, I think, slept in the in the minivan. So yeah, we're feeling good. Um, we got session this afternoon which will be a blow a bit of a what bike contact conditioning session and a, a gym session as well to start the week so yeah looking forward to ripping in good to see all the boys again after a, a, a few days off so yeah ready to get to work So at the start of the week, let drops in the deep end. We do a walk bike session, which consists of two 3Ks in partners, a 2K and a 500 meters on your own. My partner is Jack Walker, my roommate back at Penny Hill Park. So it's good to be with him again, even if it wasn't a pleasant experience. When you reach the end of your tether, um, the mind's a muscle as well. So I think coming through tough moments, training hard, making sure you know you can get through those tough moments. Um, you get a nice buzz afterwards, you feel good. You feel like you're taking yourself to a dark place and, when the dark places come again, hopefully you can take it just a little bit further. So that's where you go to, I think, in those moments. That's where you get the most out of yourself and it's definitely transferable to a rugby pitch in the last five, ten minutes when things do get really tough. We're going backs and forwards between um, aerobic fitness and then having to be honed in on doing something uh, physical, something you need to be aggressive with the contact skills in between. It's a very similar contrast to a game, run in to hit, to run in to hit as much as we can train that as possible, as much as we can make that hard like a game, have the same feelings you have in a game, um, the better. And I think to start the week, it puts us in a, in a good state of mind and it sets the tone. There's just one problem. One thing you don't want to be doing after walk by session is stairs. Sea recovery. Best thing about being next to the sea, it beats the ice baths, gets about in the open natural water. I think recovery is so important for us, um, especially cold, settle the body right down, um, settle the nervous system straight away. Um, I think what we do is so physical, it's so full on. As quickly as you can reset the body as, as possible to go again for the next day is so important. That is so cold. Absolutely cooked, 
um, from today. Um, so time to get the head, head down, might do a little bit of reading, um, but hopefully get a full eight, nine hours sleep, ready, ready to go tomorrow. Cheers, night. Morning, um, I was out like a light last night, big day. Um, finished the night off with some recovery, so this morning, up, um, relatively late start. Make myself some mate and um, get into the day, which um, kiss of a gym session, a little bit of treatment this morning, um, and then a rugby session this afternoon. So, yeah, ready to attack the day. So first off, get me going with some mate, my very own jungle juice. Gets me going for the week, gives me an extra boost of energy, gets me ready for, for what's ahead. Warm up slightly different to the to the other boys. These days need a little bit longer. It's one of the days where I could just put the boots on and start running around quickly. I think the nature of the position we play is your high involvement, so body takes a little bit longer to warm up for these sessions. So um, I make sure that I get myself moving as, as quickly as possible and make sure I'm I'm fully warm before we start getting into the thick of it. As a back row, like a lot of it's mindset and, and mind and body work. So closely together, I think when your body's feeling good, your mind's feeling good, you're usually really in the thick of it, high high running, high impact, and have to keep the mind free to think about things like set piece and, and line out as well. So there's loads going on as a back row, and the better the body feels, the easier it is to, to keep your mind on those tasks. That side of the game, competition and grittiness, I think is the, the reason I fell in love with it. I used to watch my dad box in some pretty unsavory clubs and some tough venues. My mum would never let me actually box, so I think for me, rugby was that. You get to go in and, and challenge yourself, and it's like instant respect, just not f for yourself. When you come through the thick of it, you know, you push yourself and you battled and you put your body on the line. Like the confidence you get from that as someone who's finished the game, but the respect you can earn of 14 other lads on the pitch just because you know you can, you're putting your body about. Hobby wasn't always the quickest, wasn't always the most skillful, but that's something that you could always hang your hat on. Like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to stroll along the prom, 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 where the brass band go. That bomb, bomb, bomb. I've got a couple of puns for you. Go on. Uh, I think this city needs to brighten up a bit. <laughs> just, the, just the act of getting yourself in yeah. isn't, is enough, you I'm know? Right behind you. So straight back to recovery, got to get the body right, back in the sea, and today it was absolutely freezing. Luckily, I had Slady and Ribai to go with me. Seeing those lads commit as well makes you want to go into. Counter-terrorism, counter-insurgency, maritime counter-terrorism, surveillance, bodyguarding, and counter-narcotic missions, and of course, SAS who dares wins. Uh, how did it all start for you? Was the forces? I think in this position, we get so many um, interesting people in to come speak for us, and I think we we're lucky enough tonight to have um, Jason Fox. For me, what I took away from that was sometimes we look at these characters and we we think they don't feel fear, but actually, they're feeling exactly the same thing. It's just how they deal with those emotions which sets them apart from the apart from the rest. So it's very similar on a rugby pitch. Everyone feels nervous. Everyone feels anger, everyone's got those emotions, but I think your ability to deal with them and control them goes a massively long way. <laughs> E.T. Fun home. Another day done, um, ticked off pretty much all of my recovery bits and it's uh, the big day tomorrow, so um, sleep, most important thing, get my head down. And uh, yeah, last day, big day tomorrow, physical day. So catch you then. Last day, big day. So I'm going to go down and get some treatment and then have some breakfast and get stuck into it. Turn out on. So today's session is, is all about making it as close to test match rugby as possible. So it has to be tough, it has to be moments where uh, your lungs are burning and your your legs are blowing up, 
and those are the moments you want to train, those are the moments you want to be good under pressure and as much as we can get it as close to test match as possible, we'll be better next week against France and the following week. Yeah, it's good when these sessions are finished, you know you've worked hard for each other, you know you've got a lot from these sessions and you can take the week off and finish it off and, and enjoy your weekend knowing you've worked really hard that last session. Best teams, the best teams, keep learning when they win. We've done that this week. Lads, how was that? Very good, very good. Tough, tough, like going backs and forwards from like the contact bits into running. Um, but like, good way to finish a week. Like, you can see the boys like after there, like, you just get a buzz from it. You know, you work hard for each other, so yeah, no, it's good. Good to go into the weekend, and then next week we'll be fully prepped, ready to go. So finally home after a tough day, um, straight after training, had a bit of commercial, which was fun, some coaching down at um, Horsham Rugby Club um, with Honda, and now finally back home. So I had some food now, um, time to relax for a couple of days. So we're all refreshed, ready to come back in on Sunday to attack the weekend. Cheers.